welcome back to the outer worlds we got a loyalty mission here but first of all oink oink and oink perfect 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 with wicker max with his bold hair bold hair bold head and ellie with her nice hair look at that perfect haircut for her and him and wicker max's quest is pretty much easy from here on out so let's just do that real quick i need the experience to get to level 26 anyways and we're already in full brook here just nice planet behind us and here's the fool we need to talk to what do you want oh hey vicar max what are you doing on monarch i thought scientists ain't welcome here haven't you heard everyone's welcome here it's a fucking worker's paradise but you wouldn't know anything about that would you never worked a day in your miserable life you're just a parasite living off my goodwill well guess what my goodwill's exhausted along with my temper <laughs> max if you are exhausted maybe we should rest and look for the scholar later <laughs> <laughs> oh god why not what you never cease to amaze me you know that <laughs> this is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison i lied about finding a scholar but i don't care about any of that anymore i just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy oh That sounds not. Why did you lie to me? I couldn't risk you not bringing me here. It sounds like you have things to work out between you. I'll just be on my way. No. Not so fast, jump. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Um. Wait, wait, wait. I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not, but by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Ah, I agree. He's just trying to trick you again, and senseless violence is the best medicine. I wholeheartedly concur. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you severely. Wait, stop. Please, just listen to me. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. <sighs> Good. Now that's that. Now that that's out of the way. Why don't you put this fool out of his misery, Max? What? No! Make yes. Him How about you? Damn. I actually need to do things myself. You got them right, Ellie. That's why you were brought on this mission. I want to thank you for not interfering back there with Cheney. I had it to kill him. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. And that's what you're gonna give me more. Say nothing. I thought my training had allowed me to leave it behind, but prison brought it all raging back. I've denied that part of myself for too long, pretending I was something I'm not. I've spent my life chasing an illusion. It's time I gave up childish dreams and accepted who I am. Wow, that's quite the turnaround. I'm sure it would seem such to you, but I don't believe it is. I think I always knew this day would come. I was just afraid to admit it, <laughs> even to myself. It may seem silly, but if you'd indulge me one last thing, I think I'd like to find this hermit he spoke of and give her the book. Maybe she can find some use for it. Oh, uh, why? I can't rightly say. Perhaps I just need some sort of closure. A formal end to my lifelong quest, perhaps. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you, Captain. I knew I could rely on you. I think it will help put all this behind me. So there are two ways this quest can and will end, from what I know. It's a character change or charisma change for Vicar Max. 
He he dot turns into a peaceful vegetable. Oh, he stays aggressive and more badass. And I always by accident turned him into a peaceful vegetable. And I don't want that. I need him a killer. As a killer, a violent man. Damn. Seeing the hair up there and the hair I have them with it just fits the character so much more. Especially Ellie. The Bacentium lady. Why is there a flag here? And every time I switch planet do I need to sleep. Oh. Huh, cool. Can do that now too. Especially if this one is that quick. Destination reached. Scylla. No. Yeah. Let's take Ellie with me. Even though Sam would also be funny. Hmm. Damn. If I mess this up and not get the result I want, then I'm gonna take Sam with me. That's the deal you're getting. Oh. I need to drink immediately again. Nana Spank, my favorite. If I could, I would only drink that. Shines on us today. Damn, that actually hit me. Crazy. We're definitely overpowered as all hell. This is a monument to man's intelligence and strength. There's no credible research on the health effects of standing directly under a terraformer, Captain. In case you were wondering. Hmm. I do care. Not this gun. I have your back, Captain. We are overpowered. We don't need to worry about enemies killing us. Oh uh, yeah. I'm on it. Got another fight in me. I didn't w I did not think about the dirty choke at all right now when she said I had another fight in me or I have another fight in me. Definitely wasn't thinking of one. Oh now the security What's up back? Investigating <laughs> They actually are strong. Look at that. Last time I was here, they were totally glitched and didn't show up for the fight. So I can sell crap immediately. Even though it ain't that much. Okay. Let's see what oh, we're gonna get ourselves into. Limits launch. Ah, you look weird. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Ugh. Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I'm here to shut you up. Admit. I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. It would mean you're definitely that. Oh yeah, we're here to rob you. What do you got? Not much. But you are free to take whatever you wish. 
Please leave me a few morsels of food, though. I may not eat a lot, but I still do need to eat. Oh, I'm too stupid. We are not here to rob you. I've brought this book for you to translate for me. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Ah, <sighs> oh, Hamid lady, enough talk. How about you throw Max here a bone? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Your hair looks fake. Ah, oh. when you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? A crass way to put it, but yes, chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Ah, oh. well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't I? But is he truly? How did you find me? What happened to the thief who stole my book? I don't know what happened to him, but we... Uh killed his son but we had a good reason or maybe not in hindsight we may have acted rashly oh no oh. we have a tendency of to act rashly when people cross us kind of like you're doing right now one cannot reach enlightenment through petty acts of bloodshed such choices inform me only that your vicar is ill-prepared for the journey. Oh, just kill her. Oh, come on, we've come all this way. I must refuse. Ooh. There is no telling what the experience would do to a mind such as his. So that's it. Take the damn book, then. It's useless to me. Sorry, Captain. Clearly, we'll get nothing out of this charlatan. I see now it was a mistake to come here. That's not it, right? I can't believe this. Years of obsession. My whole life's work. It was all for nothing. It can't just end like this. What sort of a half-assed destiny just peters out into nothing? I devoted myself every moment of every day to uncovering the truth. No, I don't accept it. I did find the truth. And the truth is, this religion is nothing more than a well-constructed lie, meant to keep the lowly sheep of the world in line. <laughs> exactly right. I'm no sheep. My eyes are open now. I won't live a lie. I reject any man-made system of control. What I'll do next? I just don't know. Well, you told me that's it. Well, that's the worst outcome of the quest so far. I mean, I have still the personality I want from him, but uh, anyways. Yeah. Really? Please just take whatever you'd like and get out. God damn it. Oh. Let's see if that's the right one. Please just. Nope. Oh, I gotta give the people what they want, right? 
And that's that goddamn conversation with drugs. I'm gonna skip through it. There is one way. Either. I. His actions say otherwise. You are quite amusing. There is no telling what the experience. So that's it. Sorry. Damn it. Oh, do, 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 do. Maybe there's just no way to do this with my intelligence. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? I... We. I... I. There is one way. I. <laughs> Do you believe that flipping? I'm. There is no. So that's it. Seriously, that's the first time I could do this quest. Huh. Huh. Insanity. Please just. I can't believe. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's definitely kind of disappointing. I'm not getting the drug cutscene. Huh. Huh. That's new. Damn, she's useless. Did I... Damn it, Patrick. Well, things don't turn out like I want them to. And I guess I'm not gonna even change it. Gonna do a side quest then. Merp, merp, merp. Merp, merp, merp. Okay, I probably need to go to sleep afterwards again. Oh, I didn't even get my level up. Oh, what did you all talk about? I'm hoping you cause going first, Ellie. Just gonna let that sit. Take someone to watch your back. Um I don't know how dangerous this mission was. I'm feeling this squad right here. No, it's probably auto mechanicals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Estimated cleaning time. 59.11 minutes. Yeah. Captain, this place is supposed to be empty, yeah? Because I got the queerest feeling. It's not empty. The empty man is empty. God damn it, you ruined my choke by interfering. Again, the empty man is empty, which was the quest we just did. Ain't got hacking skills, just got murder skills. Hey, look at me, Sam, with a nice little shield. I'm gonna change his skin after this mission. A good reason for you to catch up with me then. Because we just looted something that was called catch up. Which is probably catch up. I need to look that up. I'm too curious. If I could find it. Catch up. Yeah, tomato flavored paste. Lovely. For the Nanox Bank. Thank you. Damn it. Okay, here we go. Congratulations, 
Customer, your SAM unit is performing at peak capacity. Caution! So I'm just going in. Sure, on my way. Oh, you're ground. You're right here. No fighting, Sam. Because I'm ready. Pickups, pickups, pickups. Yep, pickaxe, pickaxe. I'm on my way. This unit is clean, mean, and ready to fill germs. Enemies too, I hope. Scanning for C two five four seven. Grade rated contaminants. Shut up. It's just running to it was running into my direction and I couldn't help myself. Just wasn't an accidental conversation. I'm probably out leveling this mission too by a few levels. Thank you. That was cute. What is so positive? Why did that door close? There's so much loot here. Damn. So much loot. Okay. Hey, the janitor. Friend of Max. I mean, Sam. No, I mean Sam. Of course I do. Nicely done. Just my lock picking it too bad. No. I will not go up there. Yeah, the sand just spinning around in circles, full of joy, I am sure. Okay, that just scared the life out of me. Oopsie. That's a short mission. Go to cell. Preparing body bag for use. Oh, poor fella. You think he did it to himself, Captain? That's real sad. Meh. Meh. I mean, are we done here? No, right? Cool. Sorry, bro. Oh, I just wanted to experience. We're done here, right? Oh, yeah. Cool. That's way too easy. 
Whoa, whoa, way too easy. Okay, groundbreaker. Welcome back, Captain. I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Dr. Oh. Shaw. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast. Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the oh. unreliable. I'll keep this short, lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Perfect. Mentioned an Everwave drama. I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Oh, shit. It was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? Person B, claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. No. Captain, Hot. we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. <laughs> oh God. I did not expect to be thrown into the DLC with that line. Dumb. Boring. Ada, let's watch something else. Ah, yes. They warned me about this. This is not an Aetherwave serial. This is a transmission. I am Administrator Ludov... Never mind. Let's just get to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. No. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. She better be alive. She better be alive when I ever do that quest. When I survived myself. Halcyon Helen's dead? Oh no, the chief of the savages finally got her. Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> this is the freelancer we're trying to hire. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, I've been looking forward to meeting Adjutant Akande's favorite gun. Yeah. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. 
No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Oh. Oh, I'm having trouble seeing the death of a two bit actor as an assault on the colony. Two bit actor? Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals, Duchess of Dramaturgy. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can't even read this. What if you got an idea? Quit arguing or I'll start shooting. Merciful law, I think he's serious. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keane. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You are Adjutant Akande's most reliable freelancer. If the second most powerful person in Halcyon can depend on you, then I'd like to think we can depend on you. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Ah, oh, Inspector Gulpool. I like the sound of that. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Uh, uh, uh. You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. Uh, relax, that's nothing I can't handle. They're nothing I can't handle. That sounds better to I'm me. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Yep, I'll see you in two months. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Uh, I don't know why they're trusting me to catch Harley on cell and skill. Pronounce that right, I know. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, inebriation, and genuine faith in your abilities. Yay! That's all I needed though. Finally. Um, skills first. Perfect. Where's carrying weight? I actually need that now. There. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Damn, I completely forgot what I wanted to do now. Um, get that gun. I don't get that gun. Go this way. 
This just dragged out the episode. This just dragged out the episode. How far are we into it? 35 minutes. I'm gonna finish that. Please avoid damaging your self or others while you are out. <laughs> Scheiße. That's not what I wanted. Anyways, it doesn't matter here. Doesn't matter. Oh, look, look at that. This part is looking cool too. Foggy night times. We can see if e Felix's corpse is still around. Damn, I have so much ammo. That's not Felix. I need to drink and sleep again. The hell is that thing of boots? Oh, and sell my life. No spanking time. Don't I have anything else here? Lemon slab. That will do. Because I actually need to buy myself. Sam, putting trash in its rightful place for more than 70 years. That Felix's corpse? Nope. It was right here. He ain't right here anymore. Merp, merp, merp. Doesn't matter. Employee, you have been fined an additional 200 bits for commerce obstruction. Please, please collect your ticket. No. Oh, I'm so far apart. That DLC is the only DLC or any part of the game that I have not played. I've played everything else besides that DLC, so I'm kind of scared of it. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Because it could be cool as hell. Especially if Helen is still alive. No chance. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. Ah, great risk. What risk? Oh, I I'm not allowed to use the communications room. We are still, after all, a secret facility. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti Nature, Anti Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. Oh. Confiscated? Why? The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti Cleo R&D felt otherwise. Mm. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. Got it. Sorry to hear that. I'll be sure to put it to good use. It ain't bad, right? From what I've heard. It ain't a bad gun. There it is. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> it's that thing. Oh god. I'm gonna test it anyways. What does it make? What makes it special? Maybe it won't blow up in your hand. Damage 44. Damage 103.6. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like I should use it. Just a hint, of course. Or we can compare it. Yeah. Here we go. Good 
it's fun. Unit's performance evaluation is sterling. It sounds like shit. Now I'm gonna tinker it real quick and see if it actually has some value. Um, ship. Bum bum. Let's see how high we can get that without spending real too much money on it. Can I modify it? Probably not. Yeah. No. Um, 48 to 400. To um, uh, I mean, it's no, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't even feel like giving that to the priest, even though Yoka good stuff. Vicar Max could use it. Where's Ellie? What does Ellie have? Even though Polter Pistol is higher level. There, yeah, Wicker Max. Okay, Groundbreakers next. So much small stuff. Even though it should have been a. Uh, Wicker Max episode. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. No! It's not what I wanted. Ah. Anyways. Ah, I wanted to put Vicar Max in that spot. Doesn't matter. Does not matter what the hell. Okay, I first put those were her hair. Uh, it's a long journey, and after this, this part is over. Why the hell am I still having my weight problems? Um, yeah, thank you. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Here's a title. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. Okay. Let's talk to her then. How's the unreliable treating you these days, Wildflower? Okay, I've decided I really love hearing you call me that, so... So keep doing it. I know what it means to have a crew. If you ever felt like jumping ship, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. Um, thanks. But that wouldn't be... The captain did get me out of Edgewater and all. I hope you're worthy of her loyalty, Captain. Whoa! You shot it. Oh, I gotta put you down. Uh... Stop trying to poach my crew, Tennyson! Try and stop me. This ship gets awful cold when the radiator works, and Pavarti's warm company. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Can't take my commander Pavati from me, my second in command. That would be a fun episode, a fun TV show, where Pavati takes over the ship as the new captain with the whole crew, with everybody around, even Felix. And uh, well, I just don't exist. Like that would be fun. Yo, thanks for watching. We're done here. Peace out.